Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on a Moodle site called MoodleMooks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get your config.php fixed so that you don't get any errors when you upgrade your Moodle or when you upgrade the plugins or add new plugins, of course. All right, so I'm in as the admin. Let me go into, I'm using uh, Rem UI. This is Moodle 3.10. So let me get started with the administration. Whatever theme you're using, the administration is generally up at the top or on the sides. If you can't find it, if you're having any kind of issues, let me know. You can always use the search box to look for it. Find the admin. All right, so let's go into plugins so I can show you what the problem is. There could be two problems. Generally, uh, you can still upgrade, but you still get these errors. So I'm going to go into install plugins. Go into, there we go, moodle.org to get a plugin. See if I've added this already. Try this one. See if I have it. Just want to show you how it's done. So uh, if I have done it, I'll come back and try another one. Okay, so uh, you can list your Moodle sites so that it's really easy to add plugins as you can see and it is installed so let me get another one okay so this is a visitor counter I definitely don't have it going to click on install over here notice it's compatible with 3.10 which is really important make sure that whatever you're adding is compatible with whatever version you're using let me go into moodlemooks.com Moodle do moot dot is just a uh, site to practice as a manager. If you're interested, you're welcome to join and learn how to be a manager of a Moodle website. Everything, of course, is completely free. All right, so this is what I'm uh, concerned about. These errors, if you don't want to have any errors, this is what you do. So we'll come back here to continue. Let's go to our server. Here we are. And uh, go into File Manager. That's where the config PHP is. Click on it. There are a few configs, so we want the config PHP. We're going to go into public HTML, not the Moodle. All right. And then uh, scroll down until we get to C, config. There it is. It's right here. So just... Uh, I know what I'm doing, but let's just uh, click on it, and we're going to go into Edit. Okay, click on Edit, Edit, and then uh, this is what we want to change. Notice what it says here, General. That is not the correct one. I'll add the correct one in the, co in the um, description. Sorry, that wasn't the correct one. <laughs> That's an IP. So let me just add the correct one. So this is the correct one. Notice. All right. And next I'm going to save changes or else nothing's going to change. All right. Save changes. All right. Success. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the site. I'm going to refresh it. Okay. So that should take effect right away. And notice I only have one left which means that I have to take care of this one, and I will. I'll show you how I do that next time, all right, because that's not in the config. It's somewhere else. Go on with continue, and I'm good to go. Stay tuned for the next video if you get this error message, how to get rid of this one. So stay tuned.